traveler sites, you name it, I got sent on it. Sometimes I did them on my own, but most of the time I took backup. This is H. All right. Worked with me for 23 years. We've had some interesting times, haven't we, H? Wow. Yeah, we have. In our job, we've seen every type of customer, haven't we? Well, we've had angry ones, we've had upset ones, even violent ones. All directed at you, though. Yeah, it seemed that way, but maybe someone should have had my back. Oh, come on, I'm doing my job. I'm securing the vehicle. Oh, yeah, I'll give you that one. <laughs> <laughs> Any um, ones in particular you can remember? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Obviously, you, know, you can think of one. Mr. Badger. Oh, Mr. Badger. <laughs> Great name, but even better story. One person wanted to bury themselves in a hole. Mr. Badger. Mr. Badger. <laughs> So then, today's one is Mr. Badger. I was speaking to a finance company. I think it's about 265 quid he owes. It's absolutely nothing. They wouldn't normally send a repossession warrant out for it, but it's a, it's a brand new contract, and they just want us to pop by, scare them a little bit, and say, look, you know, you haven't made a payment. Okay. Just pay up. He'd just pay up, wouldn't he? He's only one payment. It's only one payment, so I should think so. I can't see him being that upset. But there's nothing on the system to say that he's a bad customer or we've had trouble with him. But he's a badger. Badger was that was my sound of a badger. My name's John Badger. I think badgers are more like <laughs> To be fair, I've never heard of badger. Oh, I wouldn't want to if it sounded like that. Come on, give us your badger noise, H. Come on. I don't know any, I'll have to copy you. Just up. try it. Honestly, I haven't got a badger noise in me. <laughs> <laughs> you have, I've given you mine. That's, a, that's, that's a, not a bad. <laughs> yeah, but look, you said you haven't got a badger noise, that is my badger noise. <laughs> so, like, there's no point mocking me. If you haven't got a badger noise, yeah, then you can't mock me over my badger noise. How do you know? If you don't know what a badger sounds like, how do you know a badger doesn't go? <laughs> I could not tell you what I meant. No, we don't know what badger noise makes. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Fair enough. Hang on, I think it's just down here. Where's the top of Is it just... Just here? Oh, right, turn up there. Oh, is it in between some buildings? Is there a turn in? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah. What's that say? Oh, yeah. Leading to... Looks like a nice place, doesn't it? It does. Oh, there's the car. Oh, there she is. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Elephant in the room. That ain't our truck. It's my story. I can recall it however I want. Don't you <laughs> like the new Jeep? Oh, yeah, I do like it. Well, shut up, then. All right, fair enough. <laughs> H, secure the vehicle. Yeah, no worries. Right, mate. Yeah, is Mr. Badger in place? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, round the back if you want to go around there. Is he? What, just past the fence panels? Yeah, if you just go around there, he's out in the garden. All right, thank you very much. No problem. He's around the back H. Stay the vehicle. All right. All right, is it Mr. Badger? Oh. What do you want? We've got a repossession warrant. You out of vehicle? Oh, I spoke to you a lot, didn't I? Already. We're coming around here. Remember we said it was going to be Friday? Yeah, it's Thursday today. What are you doing here now? I've never been here before. Oh, don't come out with all that rubbish, mate. Do you know what I mean? You told me Friday. I've been speaking on the phone all week. You lot come around here last week. You upset my wife. In fact, you threatened her on the phone. You threatened her at the house. She said that I'm all week. And I've had to put up with all that. And now you're coming around here. I told I've you it's going to be here. Friday. I'll have the money on Friday. I don't know what you're talking about. Come back tomorrow, man. What's wrong with you? I'm not going to come back tomorrow. The car's here now. Listen, come back on Friday. It's one day, like we agreed. I haven't got a clue what you're going on about. <sighs> I've never been here before. Yeah. Yeah. So who was I talking to? Who I've been talking to all week? 
And we're not queuing, we're from a finance company for a motor vehicle. You want payment behind? Why are you saying all that? Is that just jokes? Are you just trying to get me go up or do something? Have you made a payment car's going to go? Listen, I know I owe a few payments, right? I know that, you know and one. I'm going to get that. I owe more than that. I actually owe about three or four payments. I know that, and I already explained on the phone. I'll have my money tomorrow. That's why you said you're coming around tomorrow. I haven't spoke to you. You have? What, I've what never do you spoke mean? to you at all. You come around here and bothered my wife, upset her. I haven't her. been here before. Listen, you upset my wife, mate. You're upsetting me now. I'm sitting here doing oh, my mate, work. I haven't even been here before. You know, right. What is going on around there? What are you doing that for? What, you think you're getting tough? No, you come I'm around here bothering my wife. Listen, it's just you. You come Why? around here bothering my wife. I've never met your wife before. You have. What on earth's going on out there? She's been upset all week, right? Because you lot come round here. You, look at your mate there, I've two of you, big before. guys. <laughs> Could have stepped in any time, mate. Just give me hands. Mate, my job's to secure the vehicle. You track the folder down. I know what's coming next. Yeah, and so did I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You think he's bad, you think you're bad. Why you think you're drive the vehicle, Jesus? didn't I? You weren't expecting a big guy like me here, was you? You understand? Come I don't know what you're talking life. about. Oi, watch me plants. <coughs> Get off. <sighs> Ooh, I'm going to look after the car. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Why is it always me? I was poor woman's flowers, didn't you ever shout him? Funny enough, H, I had a 20 stone <laughs> man falling on me, probably muffled the sound, added to the fact, knocked the wind out of me. No, I didn't hear her. Uh. Listen, mate, you come round my house, you, you attack me, you've mucked up my whole day. Attack me? You just threw me over a wall. Mama, get lost. What, what are you doing? I've already agreed all this. I don't even know what you're talking about. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry, I don't need your phone. I'm going to sort it that way. I'll sort it out my way, all right? So I'm not going to deal with none of this. What's he doing out there now? Don't worry, I'll do it. Arguing, he'll argue with anyone, that fella. Honest to God. Let me sort this my way, mate. Come here. Going mad on me in my house. I'm going to have to have a staff meeting. I'm the boss. Why does this always happen to me? Why is I? Oh, you right? Then it's about a garden, it? First time someone's bought me flowers, mate, but you know what? I love you for it. Right. Mate, I love you to bits, but I'm not being funny. Where was you? Listen, I've got the hardest job out of the two of us, securing the cars. We'll have a little chat when we get back, mate. What is that? What is that? Why do we need a chat? We're, we're working out quite good here. How many times have you watched me get took through hedges? Quite a few. That's the you problem. Love, you... that, that right there <laughs> is the problem. All right? It's Honestly, bloke's mad. He thinks we've been here before. We haven't been there. We haven't spoken before. One payment. And they're getting took over a wall. I thought you was getting through to him back there then. Obviously not. I, I said no more jokes. I'm being serious, boss. Yeah, all right. Like I said, we're having a chat. That's enough. <laughs> Be serious uh, now. Oh, here we go, H. Protect the car. Yeah. I told you I'm doing it my way. Can we come around here? No more phone calls, calling on this house. You understand? Yeah? You'll see, this will come around and still be my day. Yeah? Every day, I've had enough of it, mate. All of you lot. Question. Think I ain't gonna do it, yeah? What's it do? No. Oh. What's he getting there? Try selling this boy. Ooh. That's not gonna work again, is it? No. You understand? Come on. Doing a good job of that, isn't it? How long you reckon you'll keep it next? Reckon you'll carry on? Boys. Yeah. 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 There you go, boys. There you go.
Nicke. That's what you're gonna get. Sell this. Oh mate, what is he doing? A bit angry, isn't it? Yeah. Just a little bit. Sell this boy. We'll keep going. Yeah. Yeah. It won't stop. Get out. Are you gonna tell him what she like? You know what mate? I think you should. Now, there you go boys. Alright mate, you missed the wing mirror. Funny isn't you? Hey, you gonna get paid for it. I don't need to see any paperwork. I think you're going to want to see this paperwork. Yeah. Cheers, mate. It doesn't happen to be two Mr. Badgers in the house, is there? Yeah, why? Is one of them called John? Yeah, my son. Yeah, John. Why? I think we need to speak to him. What for? What's all the noise out here? Who's done that to the car? I did. Why? Because these lot been here mugging me off all day. Yeah, but you bought that for mum. She's got a cookery class in 20 minutes. Is it John Badger? Yeah, it is, Let's yeah. have a chat over here, mate. What's going on? There's a repossession warrant for your Ford Cougar. Yeah. And there's 265 pounds in arrears, one payment. So is there any way you can make that payment today? Yeah, that's no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll switch my bank accounts. I think that's where the mix-ups come into it. But yeah, I can make that payment now. Yeah, if you want to go and get your car, Yeah, mate, yeah, yeah, no worries. I'm finance now, company. Please. When that penny finally dropped, it hit as hard as that sledgehammer. Hey, I was standing next to him when it's in the car, just drain out of his face. <laughs> I still, to this day, can't believe he did that to his car. Ah, his wife's car. <laughs> Oh mate, got your card? It should go to the Jeep. No worries. What did you tell me? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Have you seen yeah. yourself? Yeah. Look what you've done to the car. Let's just sort this out. We can be on our way. Yep. And just ring a finance company. Yeah, because you come around here, didn't they? Come did around here. Did you give here. us a chance to speak? Come well, on, I didn't come on. look. Look what you've done. All right, mate. Yeah, can you take a payment? Yep, no problem. I'll give you the name and agreement number. Why didn't you just tell me that this was the wrong car? Did then we not I wouldn't try and have done this. Did we not try and tell you that? My wife's what was your first me, thing? Mate. What was your first thing to do? Act like a big angry bear. And chuck I was it angry. Come in, in my, come in my garden. Yeah, but you and tell me he wants money in it, which I thought he's supposed to be on Friday with the other guy. I didn't know it was another phone, did I? If you listened to the rest of the conversation, you would have found out who we come for. You ain't listening when you're mad, are you? You're not listening when you're mad. My wife's going to go. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you. Bye-bye. Nice. All right. There you go, John. It's all gone through. Good, good. No worries. Just a quick question. Is your dad always like that? Yeah. He's terrible with anger management. He's got serious issues when it comes to this sort of stuff. Why well, you just didn't tell me? Just that's all I needed was just Mate. say, even if I'd started it and you said, listen, this ain't the right car or something like that. Because we was actually going to a supermarket the other day because why I won't go to the supermarket with him anymore. He had a full bag of shopping. It's split and gone all over the car park. So he's ended up booting it everywhere. And then he's picked up a cucumber walked back into the supermarket and asked to see the manager and he's whacked him over the head with it. Oh mate, good luck. Thank you, no Thanks worries. very much. I can't believe it, mate. I can't believe it. Look at the state of it. You let me go and do all this. I didn't let you do nothing. As I said, you're a big dude. Come on, H, she's paid. Let's go. Look at it, look at the state of it. Listen, oh, I didn't mean to do it, they done it. They yeah. come over and they've but done it. But you done something, didn't yeah. you? Because you never paid for it. But I didn't mean to. Yeah, they come here, done the it. guys but come and done it. Done it. Another car. I don't care about another car. Look what you've done to this one. If you'd have done what yeah. you're supposed to do, yeah. we'd all be all right now, wouldn't we? So today's job then, this bloke is working at a concrete factory. Right. And we've tried his home address, he's never there, but we know he actually works at a concrete factory. We've, we've rung the concrete place and they've said, yeah, 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 he works here. 
think we just pretended to be a courier. What's his name? Got a folder. It is Tim Ferguson. What's the car? Peugeot. Come on in, let's get it out of the way. Tell us your joke. Right. How do you win a concrete race? How? Ready, set. Oh, how do you start a concrete race, even? That'd be the better joke, wouldn't you it? Didn't even, <laughs> you, didn't even, you didn't even get that right! You can't even tell a joke! Right. Will you do a better joke? Right. Let's get your repo face on. We are here. Out there. What's the reg? Go on, read it out. It is the ND58HHC. Right, that's it there. Yeah. Let's just block the entrance. No one in or out. Yeah, I've always had that their truck now. Alright, let's go introduce ourselves. I could do with my drive concreting. Folder. Come in. You're right there. Yeah. Um, can I speak to Tim Ferguson, please? Um, he's not here at the moment. Um, what? What's it about? Um, we've got a repossession warrant for his motor vehicle that's parked in the yard. And where? Do you, where are you from? We're from finance company. Well, he's not here at the moment. He's out driving the truck, so I ain't being rude, but I'd rather it not happen here. Well, yeah. he's been avoiding us, and this is the only place we can do it, so can you get him on the phone? Yeah, but he's, he's at work at the moment. He's out doing a job with customers, so I can't just get him back here straight away. Um, can you give me a card or a number? I'll tell him to give well, you a card. Well, we're not leaving. We're going to take the vehicle. Well, you can't just take the vehicle if he's not here, can you? Well, we're not going to leave the vehicle here, are we? Just, just wait a minute. Let me just speak to somebody else. Is that all right? Spare with me. Wayne? If we can't catch them at home, we catch them at work. That's the one place they have to go to, and they can't avoid us. Well, she wasn't happy with her, was she? Nine times out of ten, the bosses will always stick up for her employee. So, you know, she's, she's not going to be happy. You know, they feel that there's an infringement on their property, an infringement on them. We turned up to a butcher's yard once. They all come out, aprons, meat cleavers. Oh, come on, let's have it. I have a blank called Tyrone with us. He just went up to the biggest one and went, yeah, come on in. He wants it first. I'll go through a lot of you. They seem back down. They might give it all the big one, but they're there to work. We're there to repo cars. Different ball game. Wait. I've got a bad feeling about this one. Come here a minute, will ya? Here we go. This, uh, going on? this gentleman and his friend, apparently, where did, where did you say he's come from? We're from a finance company. We've got a repossession warrant for a motor vehicle outside. Which, which one? Tim's car, apparently. Why, what's he done? Well, he's done. He hasn't paid his bills. That's what he's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah surely he shouldn't be in our yard repossessing his car. This is his workplace. If you want to sort it out, take it to his house and do it to his house. He's here and he's working at the moment, so you ain't taking... How are we supposed to get a vehicle, then? Why haven't you gone to his house? Because he keeps changing address. We haven't got his home address. The only thing we've got is his work address. Yeah, but you shouldn't be doing it at this yard. This is our workplace. Uh, we, yes, we're completely. Don't wait outside yeah. the gates, no we're problem. We're not going to wait outside the gate. We've blocked you in anyway. You can't block the gate. I'll tell you what, that'll be getting moved in 40 minutes time if you don't shift it. <laughs> it won't be getting moved at all. It will. get more louder and I shall push it out the road. Yeah, shift I mean, it out the You won't shift it at all. We will. You won't. I will. You won't. I will. We'll see. You can't do this. This isn't his home. This isn't where it's registered at. You cannot do it moved. here. He's moved house. It's the only place we can get him. Do you want to get him on the phone? Yeah, I'll get him. Yeah, but it shouldn't be dealt with here. No. It should be at his, ho at his home. It should we be don't know his new home address. Get is it here? I'll phone him. You're out of order, you shouldn't be doing this, I'm telling no, you No, you shouldn't. <sighs> Get the loader and I should, should be out of the way. Be smashed up and pushed onto hey, the railway. You all right, mate? You all right, Tim? 
All sound, sound. Tim, all it is, I've got a, a bloke here. Somebody's come to take your car away. You're joking. No. Um, bloke and a, a woman, and they've got a big black car, and uh, says you ain't paid your bills. Have you Have you got any trouble with your finance or anything is like it? that? No, I've, 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 I'm up to date. I'm so, that's all sound, that is. Oh, hey, hey, Fa. Don't interrupt me, call me. I'll say I'm, I'm, I'm five, five, ten minutes away and I'll be there. Okay. I'm, I'm not far away at all. No, mate. we won't, we won't let them take it. No worries, no worries. Well, all right, watch how you drive. I'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute, mate. See you in a minute. Bye bye. Turn you now. I'm going to shift it now with the loudest. So you better move it. Mate, you ain't going to shift that anywhere. I'm going to get the louder now and I'll push it out of the way. Yeah, Pinky, take this. I'm not going to let you get in your JCB, am I? It's not going anywhere. I'm moving it, mate. It's not going anywhere. I'm moving it. Get back in your office. No. I'm not going to let you get in your JCB, am I? I'm going to move it. Who are you pushing? Who are you pushing? I'm not going to let you move the Jeep, am I? Come on, boys. Stop playing in sand. Bosses always get annoyed when we block the gates, but there's no other way. Well, it stops them blocking the gates, it gives us our exit route. Well done! You learned something then over the years, haven't you? <laughs> but do you think that guy would have really rammed your car? 100%! In his head, we're not there for the customer, we're not there for his employee. In his head, we're messing with him, we're messing with his business, we're stopping trucks coming in and out. 100% it would have rammed our truck. If I let you up, are you going to behave? Yeah. Behave yourself, I will. Eh? What was all that about? You threw me out the JCB, you started pushing me around. It's all this playing in the sand. You pushed me in the sand, you pushed me over here. You have only started it. I'm not going to let you. That car is being moved, it's going to be moved. It's in it's my yard, it's going to be moved. I don't care if it's your yard or not, that car is going with us. I just want it moved. You threw me out the JCB. I got your back, boss. Take it, your temp. You've been served. Got keys, boss. You're welcome. Excuse me. I don't know how she does it. Pinky, I like to hand the warrants to the customers. Not just throw them into the sand and smash it into their face. Would you like to elaborate on your technique? Element of surprise, was it? Or was he just introducing the paperwork to his teeth? Well, it was served, wasn't it? Yeah, in a fashion. Come on, team. You get the louder, I'll get the mixer. You take the Jeep, go and unblock the entrance. Don't click every trip. No, 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 no,
Alright mate, don't get going anywhere, I'm just going to get your bill, okay? Tim, drop him down. Go anywhere. Go anywhere! Seatbelt was undone. Oh. I need to get another job. Here's your bill, mate, for the concrete. Payable within 14 days. for your mate. What's happened? What have you been doing? Are you deaf? I couldn't hear anything. What have you been doing? I'll tell you what, get in the Jeep and I'll meet you back at the yard. It's a long walk back. Sixty, sixty-six, sixty-four. This one. Get the warrant. Let's go and see if he's in. Anything out of that fence? No? Nah, nothing there. I'll try this one. What do you reckon, Dave? Anything down there? Right, there's one behind the digger. Do you reckon he'd get a caravan in between there? No, nah, I don't think he'll get down there. No, nah, he hasn't, has he? Alright, let's go and knock the door then. Here's a warrant here. Cheers, mate. Michael Ford in it, I think he is. Yeah, is Michael Ford in, please? No, who are you? Repossession guys. Bailiffs again, okay. We're not bailiffs, we're repossession guys, there's a big difference. Well, what are you after? We're after his caravan. Well, he ain't here. Well, we've had a look over the fence. I know you've looked over my fence. 
Well, where's the caravan? Ever since he watched that documentary, Freeman of the Land, he's gone AWOL. He ain't here. Where is he? He's going to be down his field in that caravan you're after. Where's the field? Well, if you go down here, there's a school on the right, and it's on the left, just down and opposite. And is there a track? Yeah, there's a track down there. It is gated off, but you'll get access easy. What car's he driving? It's an old maroon Volvo. Last time I seen him in it. Is he down on his own? As far as I know, he don't see no one. He just turns up there randomly. He doesn't believe in civilised law anymore or anything. I don't know what he's got down there. OK, fair enough. Is he the only one there? Don't know. I haven't seen him. All right, Colin, let's go then. Apparently he's not married anymore. She ain't happy, is she? Simon David, you ever heard of Free Man of the Land? Up until then, I hadn't. Bit weird. Well, they just don't abide by common law. I mean, they don't accept authority. They just don't accept the government. They just don't accept anything, really. I mean, say, for instance, we turn up on a job and someone called the police, because they wouldn't call the police. We're rolling around on the floor with them. We could even be getting the better of them, but they wouldn't accept that the police are there to help them. They're just... Oddball. That's rich coming from you, Dave. Go and have a look down there, Dave. Can you see anything down there? Yeah, looks like it's down here, yeah. Where's the track go? It's down to the left. Dave, there's definitely a caravan over there. Yeah. We're in Volvo. Yeah, we're in Volvo. Go and introduce ourselves, eh? Good to go? All good. Yeah, give us a pay point. Michael Ford? No, who's asking? We've got a repossession warrant for your caravan. Yeah, walking up on me a bit, uh, you know, dodgy mate, you know. Just spoke to your wife. What wife? I ain't got a wife. We've just been to your house. I ain't got a house. That's Come my on. house. That's a caravan. Yeah, I know, it's a house. Well, there's a repossession warrant for it. I, I don't understand. Yeah, there's your warrant. Dave, go and check the... That's for Michael Ford. Numbers. Yeah, but you're Michael Ford. No, I've told you I ain't. You are Michael Ford? No, I'm not. I've, I've sent my birth certificate back. I've, I've rescinded my driving licence. I'm, I'm no longer that guy. I'm not him. But when you took out the finance for the caravan, what name was it under? Well, I didn't take it out, Michael Ford did. Not yeah, but me. you're Michael Ford. No, I'm not. I'm not. Why not? Because of the, I'm not known as that. You know, when they give you a birth certificate and they say you're such and such, you're, you're too young to confirm it. I mean, I, I've just been born. I don't even know my date of birth. That's just hearsay. It's what people have been telling me all my life, but I, I have, I've never confirmed it. So I'm not that well, guy. Of course you know what day you're born. No, how, how, how so would I know? So you're disputing now what day you're born? Well, yeah, of course I am. And it's now a... you're not Michael Falls? No, I'm not. No. I've sent, it, I've sent everything back that I need to. I, I'm, I'm no longer that guy. I don't, I don't answer to that guy. He's, he's not me. Can you find it, Dave? He's ground it off. You ground the serial number off? Well, I didn't ground it off. What makes you think I ground oh, it well, off? Oh, Michael Ford ground it off before you changed your name. Well, there you go, then. You ground that, it that off. ain't the caravan you're looking for, is it? Right, it's... let's have a look. There's normally another serial number under there. There you are. Stay with the customer. What's all this about? Why? Who's my? Why, you know, why aren't you being Michael Ford? It's like this: you're only governed by the law if you consent to it. 
if you don't consent to it, you're not governed by the normal laws. You're only governed by, you know, just common law. Like, you, you won't harm another fellow man. You won't steal from somebody. Uh, but all the other things that they throw to you, yeah. it's consensual. And if you don't consent to it, if you send your birth certificate back, if you just turn your back on the whole system, you haven't got to comply to it. So how, how do you go about doing this? Like, what do you what well, do? You, you, do? you can start off. I mean, classic thing is your driver's licence, right? That, yeah. That's that's the you know, using all legal documents as an identity. Yeah. But driving licence in itself, if you look at it, if you look at the legal definition of driver licence, it's a licence that you need to drive a vehicle for high reward. Mm. If you're just driving your vehicle from A to B as transport, yeah. you don't need a driver's licence because oh, you're right. not doing it for high reward. But what but, if the police stop you then? What, what happens then? Well, that's not the law I'm governed by. I've, I've, I've turned me back on all that because I don't agree with it. It's just to, it's just to earn the machine money. It's, it's, you know, it, it, it's not for my own welfare. All oh, right, Dave. What you know, are you doing? And, and just learning about this free man and the free man. Oh, get out! He's interested. What do you mean he's interesting? He's supposed to be doing a repossession, not a show and tell. And what is he? You bloody slave or something? He's supposed to be working for me. Mate, this is what this is what it's all about. Yeah, you're, it's a you're being a slave to the machine here, mate. You know, what do you mean he works for me? He's not a slave, I'll pay him. Look, you ground the serial number off, right? No, Michael Ford must have ground the serial number off. I've yeah, got nothing to do with that. to you, Michael Ford doesn't exist. Well, I'm not Michael Ford. I didn't say he didn't exist. It's not me. That's what I'm saying. My serial number's on the inside of that caravan. That belongs to Michael Ford. You're Michael Ford. Right, that is the one we're taking, all right? But no, because put it this way, the, the, the guy that I was acting on behalf of a couple of years ago paid half the payments towards that. What do you right. mean acting on behalf? So you was acting on behalf of yourself? When you took out the agreement, you was Michael Ford? Yeah, and Michael Ford paid for half that caravan. So if you're going to repossess that caravan, you need to give me half the money back. Yeah, but you're not Michael Ford, so you don't have half the money, do you? You give it me and I'll give it Michael Ford. But Michael Ford exists back, now, then, does he? And you can, I'm but what you... saying hypothetically, you know, when you die, um, the money that you've got gets passed on to your siblings, doesn't it? But you're well, not Michael Ford. What are you going to do with the money? Apparently you don't have money. Well, I'm not going to do anything Michael Ford is. But Michael Ford doesn't exist according to you. No, I'm not Michael Ford. I oh, didn't say Dave, it didn't exist. I'm not putting up with this. Come on, I'll show you where the serial number is. Hey, no, you're, you're slaves, man. You're slaves. Simon, Dave, how many times have we turned up to jobs and the uh, serial numbers have been ground off? Loads. Gym equipment. Gym equipment's a good one. Yeah. They always take the serial numbers off or pop the tag off, don't they? And then they go, oh, it's not your one. That's with another finance company. What do I always say, Chivo? If it's on our wagon, it's ours. If it's in their place, it's theirs. It's Nine... definitely ours, though. What, the caravan? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, we found the other serial number. But I had to bring you in to make sure, because if we'd got it wrong, I mean, he didn't abide by the common law of the land, but he certainly knew it. I never knew there was two serial numbers on him. Yeah, we'd have been in big trouble if we hadn't found the other one. Well, I don't think we could have took it. No, I and mean, he was only following his own laws. Mm. Where do they put them then? Yeah, it's here, mate. Just check it as well. It's out. Oh, yeah, you I ready? can see it now, yeah. Just check, make sure it's the right one because this bloke is. Oh, man. Right. Can you see it? Yeah. Shove your head under. It. Yeah. 643. Yeah. 72. Yeah. WT. WT, yeah. RF. That's it. That's this it. This is us. We confirmed? Yeah, this is us. Definitely 100%? 100%, yeah. Because you know he's going to kick off with a finance company. Yeah, this is ours. This is our van. He's going to say it's not him. Yeah, it's there. He didn't know about that one. Yeah, no, this is our van. Let's, Let's take go. it. Let's hook it up. Let's give him the good news. Hi, right, Michael Ford. It's going. No, no, I'm right, man. No, it's mine. It's, it's off. Mine. No, it's you... going. It's not off. You. Mine. You're not his fellow man now, are you, Dave? Slaves! Stuff this. Piss in the Jeep. Open the door! No! Turn off! Oh, it's just right to chat one of my agents on the floor, innit? That wasn't me! Open oh, the yeah, door! Break me arm, mate! Break it! Open the door now! You're showing your true colours now, ain't ya? Let's hook it up, Sean. Let's take it. Let's hook it up. You can't take it, I'm in it! Let's go. You can't take me home. Hey, we're going to hook it up. I'll get out, mate. You 
gone, dude. How many are you? Oh, what are you doing? No! No! Get out of the caravan. No! Get out! I didn't know! What are we take you with us then? My caravan! Mine! It's not your caravan, belongs to a finance company! No! No, it doesn't! Oh, it you owe me money! You owe me two grand! Yep. That's going up. Go on, keep going. Keep going. That's it. Oh, oh I've had enough of this. Whoa, 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 Dave! Why is he in a tractor? Isn't that what? Can't you remember what happened. Oh, so he couldn't have. No, he couldn't have. Let's put him in the Volvo, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> See there. Okay, Dave, just coming in. What's he doing? Oh, come on, let's get these legs up. Are you having fatigue tonight then, Dave? Lasagna. Oh, your missus makes a lovely lasagna, doesn't she? Yeah, she does, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm a free man of the world! Yeah. What's that? Ah! Do you think he's hurt? You think? Windscreen's gone through. I think he's dead. Mm. Oh, free man. Freeman Island. You certainly are, mate. You certainly are. He's all right, Dave. Get his caravan hooked up. Keep coming. Keep that. Yeah. That's his off. I'm going to lose the door in a minute. CJ, two o'clock. Ah, yeah, mate. That's the, yes. that's the stencil there, mate. Brilliant, mate. Happy? Sweet. Lovely. Lovely. Right, let's get it done, man. Um, £50 deposit paid, mate. Um, 200 left to pay. Nah, bruv. Paid it, man. Paid it. Paid all the money, bruv. No, mate. It's not in the system, mate. There's only um, 
a fifty pound deposit being paid, there's still two hundred pounds to pay, mate. I paid the woman last week, man. Paid it all up front. CJ always pays, man. Come on. She's going to be here in thirty minutes. Man, well, I tell you what, let's go in there and start it then, and then when she comes, we can sort Wait, it. Just relax a minute, mate. Yeah, I'll put I'll put the stencil on. Good man. Good man. Good You're man. You have to wait till she gets here Top before man. we start. Yeah. As long as we get yeah. it started, bro. Yes, man. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Sweet man. There you go, bro. Do your job. Do your job. This chair broke, bro. For what? What's wrong with your chair, bro? Is it broke or what? Man, the chair's all good, mate. You have to be sat up when you have this one done. But, God. It's mate. Paying me money mate, for, man. Mate. Just relax, mate. The chair's all good, yeah? I just want it done, bro, yeah, man. Cool. Come, no, on, we'll come, on, it, come yeah? on, come on, come on, come on. Sweet. We're having it then, mate. Over there, covering that X, man. Covering the X. Just... This one here, yeah? Yes, man, yeah. You say it's an X? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Lucky escape for her, mate, wasn't it? Uh, what do you mean, man? I got rid of her. She talked too much, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, that's take some beating, that does. <laughs> Try and say, bruv. No, no, nothing. Come on, mate. man. Nothing. It's just me and it, man. Sure, this chair ain't bruv, bruv. Oh, mate. Right. Round here, yeah? Yes, man, just there, man. Couple yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, yeah, 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 yeah. Happy? Yeah, it's a bit rough, man. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking it needs to go about there, mate, yeah? No, man, a bit lower, a bit lower, a bit lower. About there? Or there? Just, no, the other way. Which way? This way, man. That way, yeah? Yeah, but a little bit more down. I want to cover the name. That's mate, it. Yeah. It needs you know, to go can here. You, see, you see what I'm doing, man? It's there, yeah. I want it there, man. Mate. The tattoo is it round here, it's not going to cover it. I just want to move just a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah, it. Yeah? Yes, man, that'll sure? do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Positive, yeah? Yes, man, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's get it done, bro. Let's get it done, man. Are you sure? Yeah, you positive. You don't want it up there, yeah? No, positive, man. What, there? Yeah, sweet, man. Bit, just a bit lower, man. Mate, it needs to go up here. No, I want, I want it lower. No, a little bit lower, man. Can you not take direction? Come on, man. That's Happy it. Day, mate, yeah? Just a fraction lower. A little bit, a little bit, little bit, man. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Man. Man, it's, it's too low. Mate, I told you it needed to go higher. But, bro, I told you to put it round there and a bit lower. Do you not listen, man? Mate, you haven't even paid for the tattoo. Man. I ain't happy with this, mate. You're gonna have Should to wait till the lady gets here that you've paid, yeah, mate, got... and then we'll go from yeah, there. Yeah, but I want it finished, no bruv. Man, what you walk? No, mate, mate. Man, what you walking off for, man? Jeez, got to better myself. <sighs> Not very good, is he? Takes his time, messed about. Hi, right, can you uh, just uh, let me know if this guy called CJ's paid? Because he's come in the shop saying he's paid, and the guys are doing my absolute nothing. CJ? Uh, I don't think so. I can't remember a CJ. 100% he's not paid. I can't, I don't think so. I don't remember a CJ at all. All right, well, he's doing me anyway, but that'll do me anyway, so thanks anyway. All right. No worries, Bye. Bye. I better start charging him some money, man. I won't charge him, mate. Paid enough, man. Who's that? It's uh, John the Tattooist. Oh, all right, John, how you doing? I'm good, mate, I'm good. Um, just a quick one. I've uh, got a guy here, mate, called CJ. Uh, we spoke about a white Audi Q7. Uh, white Audi Q7? We've been after a white Audi. Uh, Q5, Q5, sorry. Let's have a look a minute. Hang on a minute, it's in the back H. Yeah, what's the registration number? ST09. ST09H. Yeah. FCG. Mate, that's a bloke we've been after for ages. Mate, he's in here, mate. It's an absolute nightmare. Mate, keep him there. Whereabouts are you? 
He's in the shop now, he's in the chair. Do a better job myself. Mate, mate, don't let him go anywhere. Mate, don't let him move. I will keep him here, mate. He's a right headache. Is he? Yeah. Alright, no worries. Alright, stay there on our way. Alright, mate, I'll see you soon. Oi! Guys out, bruv! Come on, man! Never fails to have a good network of people when trying to find someone. Yeah, you have got a very good network of people. 20 mile radius of a base, I've got it covered. Is there anyone you don't know? Wait, you don't know traffic wardens, do you? Hey, you leave traffic wardens alone. They're always in town centres, they find loads of cars. Hmm. Doesn't mean you have to like them, but you can know them. All right, let me tell you about Craig Jones. Oh, this is, this is a good story. So, Craig Jones, he, he moved ages ago. Yeah. Now, most people get rid of their telephone number, change address, and that's it, you can't find them. Oh, no, not with Craig. Oh, Craig don't care, mate. Craig doesn't care. He's kept his phone number, you ring him, and he just says, well, I'm not bothered, mate. You can't find me, can you? I mean, he keeps going, see you later, kid. And they put, yeah, 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 yeah. Go. See you later, kid. Or see you later, bro. And he literally just put the phone down and ring back and he go, hi, is that the Reaper guys again? And I'm going, yeah, we need your card. He go, yeah, like I told you, mate. You're not having it. And you can hear him laughing. Oi, geezer. Bro, come on, man. What's happening? What's happening, bro? She's on her way down now, mate. What do you mean she's on her way down? She's on her way down. But you're sitting there and you're playing with your phone. You could be, could be doing that, man. What are you doing? Mate, she's on her way down now. She's not going to be long at all. Bro, we've got to get this done, man. You haven't even put it right in the, in the, in the plates. I want it, I want it lower. You, what are you doing on your phone? Bro, come on, man. What's happening? Do you know how long I've been after him? How long? Nine months. Seriously? Nine months. He's, he's one of the repos in the back of a folder. One of the ones where you just keep going. Normally, after two months, you give it back to a finance company. But the finance company have said, Sean, if anyone can find him, you'll find him. Get off your phone, man. Geezer, this needs to be done. Do you know what, man? I'm going. I'm going, bro. I'm, I'm... Mate. Mate. Whoa, chill. You're not going nowhere, mate. Yeah? Not going anywhere. I'm just going to sort it all out now. What do you mean I ain't going nowhere? She's on her way. I'm going to do the tattoo. I'm going to do the best tattoo you've got on you, mate. Like, just just chill. OK, man. OK. Let's get it done. Man. It'll be done, mate. <sighs> I tried everything. Social media. We even tried to track him through credit cards. We just tried everything. Couldn't find him. Even one on 192. Tried to track relatives. Nothing. 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 Bloke just disappeared. Oh, it's going to be an interesting job, this Oh, yeah? If he's in the bookies, he'll ask you what, what bet you think he should put on. Are you afraid? Yeah, uh, he is blatant. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to see his face. Mate, Geezer, what are you doing on your phone? Let's get this tat sorted, bro. Man. Yeah, it's just up here. Oh, it's here. It's right here. You stay over there, Claych. Yeah, right. Oh, here she is. Oh, Craig? I don't know. Nah, ain't me, brother. Mate, you're Craig Jones. Mate, I don't know who this Craig Jones is. Craig Jones? Nah, it ain't me, brother. Nine months I've been looking for you. It ain't me. Whoever, whoever this Craig Jones is, it ain't me, brother. Mate, your car's it's... outside. It's not my car. Whose car's outside? Nine months, all I've had on the phone is, oh, all right, kid, how are you doing, kid? You won't find me, kid. Oh, what's the best bet to put on? Well, I found you now, haven't I? Bro, it ain't me. Who this Craig Jones is, I've come here for a tattoo, and that's all, man. Mate, there's your repossession warrant. Are you serious? You're Craig Jones. I'm not Why do you keep calling me Craig Jones? 
I'm Get not... your cars outside, innit? I'm not Craig Jones. Nine I'm... months! Steve Smith, that's my name. Steve Smith. I thought it was CJ always paid your bills. Somebody booked it in CJ. They, the person that phoned up was CJ. I'm not CJ. I'm Stevie Smith. All right, we'll soon find out then. Let's have a look. Let's find you, because you're still in my phone. It still amazes me today how they can still deny it, Sam. We caught him red-handed. Even when the car's outside and I'm standing right next to it. Hey, he could have been stood there with his passport, driving licence, full set of Dan records. Still deny it's him. <laughs> <laughs> not me, man. Soon find out. Yeah, calling Craig Jones. It's not you, then, is it? That's my mate's phone. It's not my phone. Are you having a laugh? Nine months of that from you. All right, kid, how you doing? Man, it's not me. I'm not Craig. J I'm not Craig. I'm Jones. just going to go and take your car then. Why did you do this, you Judas? You knew I was here. Thanks, you grass. Hold on a minute, mate. You've come in here giving all the bigger, mate. CJ always pays and all this. And you can't even pay for your car, mate. Never mind your tattoo that you've not paid for, mate. Please, don't take me car. Don't So you me. are Craig Jones, then? Yes. CJ. I'm CJ. I'm Craig. I'm Craig. OK. Hands up. OK, you got me. Man, what do you want me to do? What do you want me Give to do? Give us keys to the car. <laughs> you ain't taking the car, bro. We've got, to, we've got to come to some arrangement. You can't take the car, bro. So what? I'm going to let you keep the car in the next nine months or I'm going to get, ah, oh, can't find me now, kid, can you? Man, I'll tell you what, you're both winding me up, man. I'll tell you, you're both winding, you're both winding me up, man. Oh, I'm supposed to be scared now. You can move and you can move, otherwise you're first and then I'm coming back for you. Now move. All right, John, move that away. You made the right decision, boys. Pictures outside, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you going somewhere? Craig, get back in. <laughs> oh gosh. What happens now? You're paying full. <laughs> what? Seven grand, bro? No, it's seven thousand five hundred and sixty-five pounds. Oh, don't forget the five hundred and sixty-five quid. Man, can I just? Will, will you meet me halfway? Can I? Can I? Can I meet me halfway? Half We're not going to meet card? halfway, are we? I can put some on the credit card for you. No, no credit card. You have to make full payment on a debit card. All the cars going. Man, I can't do it. I'm not bothered either way. I'm not bothered either way because I've got the car. So you either make full payment, I'll get paid, or I take the car, I'll get paid. It's that simple. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This ain't right. This is against the law. This is, you know, what you're doing. It's like I'm being held hostage, man. Do you mean being... Okay, I'll tell you what. Put your cards away. I'll just take your car. No. No one's been held hostage. You're cool. You either pay or I'll just take the car. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 No. It's got to be a debit card. You're on the ball, ain't you? Yeah, there's money in there, man. Give us you. Alright, mate. Can I just make a payment? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's Craig Jones and he's going to pay the full arrears. 7,565. I've got his card here. Okay, fire away when you're ready. It's 6271 7825 1777 3061. It's gone through, mate. All good. So, how did you even find him? He's been missing for nine months. Yeah, I know. I found him in a tattoo shop. He hadn't paid for his tattoo either. Mate, don't start giving it that. I'll tell you what, I'll cancel his payment, I'll take your car. Been cocky for the last nine months, you have. I'm not saying right. anything. The payment's gone through, yeah? Yeah, all good, mate. All right, cheers. Thanks, mate. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for your payment. Happy. Are yeah. we all happy now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is that our business done? Yeah. Right, now you, you owe me £50 deposit plus the 200 quid for the tat that I ain't going to have. Hold on a minute, mate. Messed about all day. 
Mate, you've never even paid for the tattoo. And I'm keeping the £50 deposit, mate, for my mess about. I paid the 200 You paid you know the what? £50 deposit, Forget mate. It, bro, I've had enough. Hey, Abby, I'm gone. Hey, she's paid. Thanks for that, John. It's bonus, Sean. Do you want anything? Nothing, mate. You've done me enough favours in the past, Sean. Appreciate no it. Thank you very much. Come on, H, let's go. I did pay. Right, what's today's job, man, Pinky? Dazzling dogs. Dazzling dogs? Yeah, it's a dog grooming place. He was um, six months behind, but uh -huh. up until then, for the last 12 months, he's been paying, perfect. He just hasn't paid. Just nothing? Yeah, nothing. nothing. Some, sometimes they do, sometimes they pay, 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 and then absolutely nothing. Well, it says three tables, grooming tables, two clippers, counters, and a, a bath. A bath. Yeah, they have to bath the dogs, don't they? Make them look pretty. What, like a proper bath? Yeah, 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 they bath them, lift their little tails up, get a little shampoo on them and stuff. What's the bloke's name? Donald Jackson. Oh, uh, Donald Jackson, the big Don <laughs> of like, the dog world. You, you only come to me when you want your dog washed. You always ask for favour. I will do this for you. I will wash your dog. But I will come to you when I need a favour. Now go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says to all these customers when they come in the door. And they go, they just go, I'll just pay you, mate. No, no. <laughs> I will wash him. I will treat your dog like one of my own. <laughs> one of my own. I will take him into my parlour and I will make him look brand new. <laughs> they might come out looking like a dog's dinner, eh? Eh, hey, what about that one? Oh, no. That's quick for oh. me today. But isn't a dog's dinner supposed to look messy? Exactly, that's the joke. Yeah, they no, go they in. go in, they go in. Like a dog. dog's dinner. They and don't come, come out like a dog's dinner. He wouldn't make much money, would he? <laughs> that's why he's six months behind. That's why he's six months behind. All right, think. calm down now. Here it is, on oh, the right. It's here. There it is. Right, yeah, they're in. Let's go. Yep. On it. Hiya, oh, yeah, can I help you? Yeah, is it Donald Jackson? Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah, we've got a repossession warrant for three uh, tables. Oh, 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 two. Just, can we just go for a swipe, please? Why? So what's going on here? What's going on? You've got three tables, grooming tables, two clippers, counters, six sections, and a bath. Or you pay three thousand seven hundred and seventy-five. Why is it that much? Because it is that much. I paid for six months. I can't afford that. Well, no one can afford it, that's why it's a repossession. You either repay it or we take the equipment. I bet I'll give you a couple hundred quid. A couple hundred quid for what? It's, it's 3,500. Well, can, can we do this another day? It's not today. Why? Can we, can we go outside and go somewhere else? I'm not going to go outside because you just lock the doors. I won't lock the doors, you have to trust me. I won't. Well, I'm, I'm not going to trust you, are I? I've got a repossession warrant. I'm I'm gonna, not gonna, go back I'm, to my place, we can sort out that. I'm not going to go back to your place. I might all the equipment's here. The yeah. shop will be emptied. Please, I just cannot do this today. Why are we whispering? What's going on? I'm just going to put the dog out and deal with this. I've got some cash. cash. Don't care. I've you, you cash. You need yeah. 3,775. Yeah. Yeah. I've got money. There you go. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Mate, I don't want your money. I want, no receipt, I want 3,775. You're going to ruin my marriage. Okay? You're going to ruin my marriage. Please just leave. Can we do this another day? Please take the What's money. What's this going to do with your marriage? All right, just take the money, please, please. 
Please, just take one. No receipt, nothing. Just go. Just no, please I'm not going to take a bribe. I want 3,775. Please, before she comes back, going. please, I need you to leave right now. Why? Can we sort it out so I can we go anywhere? Any other day, just not today. I really can't deal with this today. Please. Yeah. All sorted, sweet. What's going on? Nothing, nothing to worry about. There's He's, a repossession uh, warrant. Okay, don't mind. Ignore him. It's all sorted. Big misunderstanding. Come on, man. It's oh, not all no. sorted, is oh, it? Show you to your car. You're not going to show us anyway. Look, get back behind there, mate. Look, you're not going to show on. us anything. You either pay 3575 or all the equipment's going. The grooming tables, the clippers, the counters. And What's the bath. this about? It's nothing. It's a misunderstanding. I've paid it all. You told me you paid it all. You haven't I paid have. it all. You just I... tried to give me a bribe. I did not at all try and give you a bribe. You just tried to give me 120 quid. Nothing on me. Got my phone. That's it. Nothing on me. Just ring, ring the company. They'll but tell I'm you. Ring, we fun. always ring them before we come out. Ring them now, and I tell you, I paid it. He's, he's just talking rubbish, okay? It's all paid. Oh, mate, you're not going to call paid. me a liar. I'll tell you what, I'll ring the finance ring company them. then. Ring them. Ring them. They'll tell you it's all fully paid. I don't owe them a penny. This is all a massive mistake. Obviously, I haven't paid it, have you? Listen, they'll tell you it's all paid. Hang on, mate. Be quiet. I'm not being called a liar. Hello? All right, is that Aaron? It is, mate, yeah. All right, mate. Um, can you just check? I'm with Donald Jackson. Can you just check to make sure he hasn't made a payment? Yep. Give me two seconds. 3,575 in arrears. Six months. Uh, 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 yep. So he hasn't made... Six made... months behind, mate. Six, yeah, months, six behind. months behind. So there's been no payment whatsoever. Uh... Mate, you haven't paid, all right? Just try to give me a bribe. All right, yeah, I'm just with him now. I'm just going to take the equipment. No problem. All right, bye thank bye you. Bye. Bye-bye. There you go, mate. Look. No, your equipment's going. I'll make a payment. I'll make go a payment. Go and get the um, silver box out of the thing. We start I'll make taking a payment the... now. What, 3,000, No, I, I can do 200 quid. I'll go to the cash point. I'll get it's 200 quid. It's not good enough, is it? You had your chance, mate. Give you some money now, a couple hundred quid. Stuff scam, mate. Good old silver case, eh, Pinky? Yep, never fails us, never lets us down. That case has got everything we need to do a repossession. It's got every Allen key, every screwdriver. As soon as you walk through those doors, I know we mean business. Mm, I certainly do. That case has shut down more businesses than a Backstreet Banker. Than <laughs> a Backstreet. Backstreet Banker? What, what's the Backstreet Banker do? Ah. <laughs> what's that for? We're going to repossess your equipment. No, I don't think so. I don't know why they're here. Okay? It's a misunderstanding. You obviously do, don't you? It's You've done mis this again. It's a misunderstanding. No, it's done a misunderstanding, okay? I don't okay? think so. I don't know what's going on. You so obviously do. If you didn't know what was going on, why would they be coming to repossess everything? Why haven't you paid the money? I have. No, you haven't. You I obviously paid it. haven't. Have I paid you? it. I paid it. I don't know why they're here, okay? I've been paying every month. It's a misunderstanding. There's some paperwork somewhere, something's gone wrong. Okay. How can it have gone wrong when they're here to collect all of us? It's a misunderstanding. It can't be a misunderstanding. It is, trust me. Just trust Where's me. Where's the money gone then? Oh, I, I paid it. Yeah, I paid yeah. it. Has it gone on Karen? Karen? Who's Karen? Who you were with all weekend, maybe? Where was you last weekend? With the lads. No, I don't think so. You was with Karen again. I was out with the lads. I don't Who's think Karen? Was. I don't know a Karen. I have no idea who Karen is. I've never met a Karen. I don't know a Karen, okay? You had six months, six months, they're saying, that you haven't paid. I have. Six I paid months every worth of money. month on time. I don't think so. You remind me every month and I pay it every month on time. You can't have. Please, trust me. I have paid. It's just a I misunderstanding. I My mum told me not to marry you. I'm going to go and sort Karen out and I'll sort you out. Shouldn't I, mate? If he knows a Karen, it's here nor there. But what I want to know, did you pay for those dog biscuits?
Do you even know what's in a dog biscuit? <laughs> yeah, it's got all nutrients for dogs. They're mammals, I'm a mammal. Pinky, it's got bone milling, poultry, dried liver, byproducts. What's a byproduct? Something you don't buy? Yeah, I still eat it. <laughs> what are you going to do now? I want to take your stuff. Hey. hey. Whoa! Take your hand off me, mate, all right? You've ruined my marriage. Pump me again, mate. I've ruined your face. You've ruined my life. How can I ruin your life, OK? I'm a repossession agent. Look what you've done. You've just ruined everything for me. My marriage is gone. You've ruined my life. I'm here for your stuff, not marriage counselling. Well, how are you going to get that out? What do you mean, how am I going to get it out? I can just wheel it out. Just let me pay. We can sort it. There's no need to take you it. You lied just a minute ago. £120 you tried to bribe me. Then you made me try to mug me off in front of your wife, telling you paid I had to ring a finance company. All right? You've ruined my life. What do you mean ruined your life? You're a grown man! Take charge of your life, why don't you? Just can't deal with this. You know a Karen, you know you're in debt. Why don't you just stop lying? Just take it, go. You alright, Pinky? Yeah, they're alright, these. Do you want to give me a hand and I'll feed you later? Alright. Does that need taken apart? No, it just needs unplugging. Just down here. Here's your clippers. Oh no! Oh no, you haven't, mate. Oh yes, he has. What's this? What's this? What do you think you can do this for? What have you done? What have you done? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? You, you think it's a dogs. joke? You think this is what a joke? You, you wanted the clippers? Yeah, one of the clippers. Move. Right, Pinky, this is a, Pinky, this is not Pinky, a joke. we Who need this contract. Who does this? Pinky, we need this contract. Pinky, go and stand over there. Look at me here. Look at me here. I'll deal with that in a minute. Look at me here. Pinky, I'll deal with you that in a minute. Go and stand. You? What did you do that for? That's my agent. That's assault. That'll do. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Why has Pinky got a bane in? It's in the script, Sean, the script you wrote. Where in the script on earth does it say Pinky's got a bane in? It's quite clear, Pinky picks up bayonet and turns. Guys, I keep telling you, I'm dyslexic. All right, I'm dyslexic. It's supposed to be a baguette. Why would I put a bayonet in a dog grooming studio? And why would I give a bayonet to Pinky? Whoa, whoa, calm down. You wrote the script. Why haven't you go with me? Right, let's just do this again, but give her a baguette. Move! Move! That's my lunch. Right, let's get your stuff out. Start with this, boss. Hello? Donald, why has your wife been outside my house? Who's this? It's Karen. You know exactly who it is. Oh, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. Uh. I'm, I'm losing you. Don't you dare put the phone down. I ain't standing for this. Yeah. Watch it, watch it. And Pinky, get those muscles working. Yep. Uh -huh. Please don't tell me that just happened. I know, bad that. I can't believe he's cut me hair. Is it bad? I'm not on about your hair, I'm on about you hitting him with a baguette. Hit with a baguette, it's soft, it's soft. Hello, this is Donald Jackson. Oh yeah, I believe our agents are with you now, aren't they? They are indeed, and I'd like to make a very serious complaint about them. Oh, uh, uh, okay, and what's the complaint? I was hit over the head with a baguette. 
And you, also, they've ruined my marriage. You, you, was, you was hit over the head, sorry, with a baguette. Yes, that's right, yes. And they've yes. ruined my marriage. Don't you think you need anger management classes? I need a sandwich. Oh, come on, let's just get the rest of the stuff. Sorry, a, 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 a sandwich baguette? Yeah, it's my lunch. Right. OK, uh, let me just... eat on the head with baguette. OK, Mr Jackson, that is locked for you. Can I just suggest in the future you keep up with your payments? Six months was quite a lot to go by. Good grief. <sighs> Wait, wait, I've made full payment. You made full payment? Yeah. Let me just check. Hello, yeah, can I just check a payment on a customer? Um, Donald Jackson. Donald Jackson. Yeah, yeah, I've spoken to him actually. Have you? Is that um we've got his wife here saying she's made full payment? She has. She right. made the full six months. Hang on a minute, let me just put you on hold, hang on. That's good. Yeah, Thanks yeah, very much. What do you want us to do about the tables? Just leave them there and in future just deal with me. Yeah, no problem. Have a nice day. Bye, love. Bye. Yeah, yeah, it's all paid, mate, then. So. Why well, I've got you on the phone, mate. I need to talk to you about a complaint Mr Jackson's made. <sighs> what complaint's that, mate? He's been hit over the head with a baguette. All right, what do you want me to do about it? Well, I need details, mate. I mean, he's made an official complaint. It's, it's, it's broke his marriage, apparently, so we need to get to the bottom of it. Can I just put you onto the phone to Pinky? She's the agent dealing with it. I'm not dealing with this, Pinky. Hello? Hello, who's Pinky. that? Who's that? Who's that? It's Aaron, how you doing? Aaron? Yes? Oh, Aaron, are you all right? I'm all right, how are you? What, yeah, I'm good, what are you doing? Oh, nothing much. Just work, work, work. A bit of training. Oh, that. are you still training? Still looking fit? Oh, still looking fit. Fit and single. Oh, fit, I fit and single. Are you single? Yeah. yeah. You see, we need to mingle. We totally need to mingle. What are you we doing? Mingle. What are you gonna do next? What are you doing next weekend? Um, I don't know. It's a bit of a video. I'm gonna come down and we'll go for drinks. We've got a lot catching up. We can cover this paperwork over drinks, what you're saying. Yeah, we can go for a drink, uh, we go for something to eat. It's been a long time, so yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah I'd love that, a good catch-up. Um, Super. So what, what, what are we going to do about this complaint, like? Oh, uh What are you thinking? You know what, Pinky? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Tell Sean not to worry about it either. Oh, bless uh, you. I'll get you a drink when I meet you. Oh, you're sweet. I'm sweeter. holding you to it. I'm you're holding you to definitely, it. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. No problem. That's uh, Pinky. All right, speak to you soon. One, one, Pinky, just get in. Oh, he's such a nice guy. How do you get away with it? Every time. If that's me, I would have had to have done a full report. Well, it's because I'm professional. Being professional, really? Yeah, professional. Oh, you can take him on a day. No, I think I'll stick to doing reports. Who are we after today? Um, we've got Mr. Darren Pike. Dazzy boy. Vape shop. Looks like some shops what down number? here. What number? 174. Well, there's 168. 168. 170, 172. That's got to be 174 oh, there. It is. there. All that. Someone's put some cones out for us. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I think I've clipped oh. them. <laughs> Straight over. <laughs> oh, well, nice oh. for them to put some cones out for us, won't it? Must be our spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's it there. That vape shop. Shut, isn't it? Yeah, what time's it now? Ten to nine. Oh, he's got to be open at nine, isn't he? Or ten o'clock. Hang yeah. around. Yeah. See if he turns up. Oh, we got anything else for him? We've got a home address for him. But I suppose all the stuff we need is in the shop. Mm -hmm. And if we go to his house, he's just going to alert him. Yeah. Yeah, all this stuff on this list, he's, he's going to be in there. TVs, juicers, What's racking. What's the juicer? What, the machines for him? I don't know. Just says juicer. 
times so five. We never know half the stuff, do we? No. Just go by a serial number. What else is on there? TVs, CCTV system, till. I think that's a till, that one. Well, the thing is, what we do is we get the main stuff out. Yeah, we need the because biggest stuff. Because there's other stuff there, like pot, you know, look, pots. Yeah. And they're pennies. If we take the main stuff, which is the, which is the juicing machines. Yeah. I mean, it's going to close them down, isn't it? So he's going to pay. That's the main aim, wouldn't it? Yeah, we just need him to turn up now. Do you think he'll spot us if we stay here? Um, I don't think he actually knows we're coming. So in that case, then, why don't we go and get some breakfast? I then mean, come back in about an hour. Yeah, it's a good idea. Let's go and get some breakfast then. Who's this? Paying for the cones or what? What cones? These cones that you've drove over, my cones, paying for them no, or what? just a little bit. I ain't bothered how much you've drove over them, the my cones, pal. What's it got to do with you? Do you mean what's it got to do with me? My cones. The cones were just in the road? Yeah, because they're holding a space. Oh, what? So you own the road? I do you? own the road. You ain't from round here, are you, lads? Uh, do you know who I am? Well, obviously not. Daz. Daz Pike. All right, that's who I am. You heard of the Pikes? What are you doing here? That's my shop. That oh, one there, the vape here. shop? The vape shop, that's mine. All right then, so like, if we move out of your space... You move out. What are you going to do? Put you... your van in and open your shop up? He's clever, isn't he? Get out my way, pay for the cones, a word of advice, lads. Leave and don't come back. Do you understand? Yeah, no worries, mate. On your way, then. I'll let you open your shop up. No problem. Oh, and you're paying for the cones as well. Well, we haven't got any cash on us, like. We've got a card machine. Absolutely, you can pay on card, no problem. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go and pull up either there, and then I'll no problem come in all. and pay on card. No problem. If you go, then. All right, mate, you go and wait inside your shop. I'll come and see you. That's result. result. <laughs> <laughs> was in fact, now? turn your engine off and come in and pay now. No okay. problem, mate. Nice one. I'll come in now. Yeah. Let's go and introduce ourselves then, Dave. Got a folder. Stay to them cones. Small ticket holding. Small ticket holding. They were always eventful, weren't they? I used to like them. <laughs> I never did understand why the people just didn't go and get a bank loan. Because some people couldn't get bank loans, and if they'd got the bank loan, everything in that shop would have been owned by them, because it would have just been a loan from a bank. Whereas a finance company, they would finance the, the tills, the, the tables, like a pizza shop we used to go to. The, or the, the finance company would own the ovens until they were paid off and the, the display cabinets and stuff. And if they were big, bulky items, what did they used to do? They used to make us take bits off a machine just so that customer couldn't use that machine and keep earning money. Yeah, we shut a lot of businesses down, didn't we? Yeah, certainly did. You got your card? I'm not paying you, mate. Do you mean you ain't paying me? You are paying me. I'm not paying you. Do you want to know who we are? I ain't bothered who you are, mate. Here's the phone. You're paying for the cones. It's a repossession warrant for all your equipment. Repossession warrant? Juices, your TV, pots and pans. For what? It's four and a half k's worth, you haven't been paying. Four and a half grand? Well, you Mate, paying you're having nothing. All. You're having nothing. I'm telling you now, you're having nothing. All right, do you know who I am? Well, we've got amnesia. Get off! Dave, get off! Get paperwork, mate. Get off! 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 Get Making friends. I'm clearing this mess up. Dave! I think I found our machines. That'll do. Told you! Told you not 
a mess for me. Told you it was a mess for me. Have it! <coughs> You're a boss. Uh, you stay there. I'll just load the juices. Oh mate, where's Daz? He's out. Oh where? <sighs> He's out cold. Well who are you? I'm a repo man. What's a repo man? <sighs> it's hard to explain, but uh, there's three golden rules to being a repo man. First one, help yourself. Hello? You alright, Sean? Alright, Craig, how you doing? I'm alright, mate, you? Yeah, fine, thanks, yeah. fine. What do I have this pleasure? Um, you had a lad that you was after that you, you mentioned to me the other night. Yeah. And I think he might have just turned up at my track where I'm doing a training school. Training track? His name's Steve, the kid who's here. He's a big gobby. Steve Strump. I've, I've got his van ready, if that helps. VK09. Yep. It starts with. And then it's X ray hotel uniform. That's the one. Yeah, he's here. All right, yeah, and um, I don't know if I'm reading it right. Is it uh, Husky, White? Yeah, White 252 Show Husky, that's what he's on. All right, and Craig, whereabouts are you at the moment? Up at my farm, I'll do the training school, so if you want to head over, I'll, I'll come and open the gates. All right, then, I'll see you in a minute. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. That's the result, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm sure that was the one that was gobbing off on the phone to us. All right, let's go and see Craig. H, when we're looking for specialist equipment, like this Husky 250, I mean, I didn't really know what it was. All I knew was a motorbike. Couldn't find the kid. I put out to as many motocross tracks as possible. Take Craig, for instance, known him for years. He's got his own riding school, got his own track. Oh, this kid's a local lad, isn't he? So he's bound to show his face around these tracks eventually. And on this occasion, he picked the wrong one, didn't he? Parks <laughs> along here somewhere. If I recall, it's like an elephant's graveyard of like old art plant machinery and everything. Craig uses it as like these training tracks. It's got a good little course. There it is here on the right. Let's wait for Craig. Any good on the old motocross H? I'm going to have to say no on that. It's been a while since I've done it, boy. What about you? Yeah, I'll go with my son. Mmm. So you'll be alright here, don't you? Yeah. I've been waiting for this repo. Glad to hear it. Oh, here he is. Let's go and say hello. All right, Craig, how you doing? How you doing, Sean? You all right? Is he up there, is he? Yeah, he's up there, yeah. A bit gobbing off, was he? Just a little bit. Been after him for ages. Changed yeah. the dress, yeah, changed the dress. And this is the first time we've had a well, chance to catch up with you him. You ain't got a clue you're here, so it'll be a surprise. Yeah, it will be, right? Yeah. Let's have some fun. Let's in there. Shall we follow you then? Yeah, follow me up. It's like going off-roading, isn't it? Yeah. There's a vehicle, H. Oh! 
It's repo time! Show me your repo face before we get out. Go on. <laughs> go on, H, go on. <laughs> go on, give us your repo face. I haven't Where, got a repo face. Where's this kid? Go yeah, on, yeah. H, take the paper. Really? H, I told you, I've been waiting a long time for this repo. First chance I get, I'm riding. I thought I'd dress for the occasion. But as I recall, nobody got No, 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 no. I'm dressed for the occasion. I'm riding. Stephen Strump. Yes, mate. Yeah, it's a repossession order for your motorbike and the transit. Why? Because you haven't been paying for it, that's why. I've paid for this. Well, so we wouldn't be here when, would we? Hang on, let's have a look. No, you, yeah, four months behind on that one and five months behind on that one. It's a joke, mate. What's the joke? What, you haven't been paying? I've paid for that. You haven't paid for that? Who told you I was here? Oh, I did. Why? Because you was gobbing off earlier and you should pay your bills. You haven't even paid to ride. It's a joke. No, it's not a joke, mate. Hey, see if the keys are in there, mate. Got the keys. What's going on, Steve? Try to repo my bike. No, you're not taking that. We are taking it. No, nah, pick up somebody else. We are repo. taking it. Nah, get on the bike. What's you got to do with you? What do you mean, get on your bike? What's that, Gwen? What are you doing? Hey, chuck us around, mate. Jump short. I'm impressed. So I could ride. Fair enough. Same coming back around. Teach you to kick me in my chest, mate. Stay down. Just stay down. Hey, jump in the Jeep. Let's go. That 
was eventful. Have we been to this one before? We've been to his house. We just can't catch him at his house. I think he's hiding his car. Right, right. Is that what we're going for today, car? Yeah, he owns an ice cream parlour. We've had it on good authority that he makes ice cream first thing in the morning. Right. So we're going to hit it. What's the time now? It's about six o'clock. So, yeah. Apparently, yeah, like... yeah, apparently he gets up early. What car is it? Shall I have a look? Yeah, have a look. White Range Rover. That's all right. What's his name, Mr. Colin Peters? Yeah, yeah. Colin Peters. Don't think he's going to give us the cold shoulder, do you? That's not an ice cream joke. <laughs> that is the most lamest <laughs> ice cream joke I've ever no, heard him alone. <laughs> you're trying to say, you're trying to come at me with an ice cream joke, and, the, and the, what did you say that the way you've turned around and said is you're going to give us a cold shoulder? Is that the best you can That's do? That's the best I can do at this time in the morning. <laughs> oh, God. This time in the morning. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> a very, very long day. You do better. Come on, then. Uh, ice cream joke. The pressure's on now. Um, Don't be flaky. Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, I bet he's a bit flaky. Oh, no, you can't have two. Come on, we can get there, we can cone off the area. <laughs> that was brilliant. I think I, let me do the talking today, mate. You are? Let me do the talking today. All right, right will do. And no fighting. I won't fight, I don't fight all the time. Just no, just calm it down today, can't have any more complaints. Um, You're the most complained about repossession agent I've got. They complain, but they never take it further, have you noticed? Pardon? They never take it further, they might complain, but at least they don't take it further. It's you that we need to worry about. Yeah, I only have to breathe on them. I have to do a 10 page report. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, but oh, I didn't mean it. No, it's genuine no. when I oh, say but, it. Oh, yeah, that's all right, Pinky. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Just don't do it again. Me, I have to answer to the finance companies if it's like a trial. <laughs> it's so true. A lot far away. away. Where are you? Oh, we are you now? Yeah, just round the corner. Right. And I've been here the other day, but it was closed. It's just the ice cream place is yeah, just I can there. See it, I can see it. Well, he doesn't know we're coming, does he? Yeah, we can see that gate. Let's just park up here. Sit and wait for him. What time are they supposed to open up, do you know? He makes ice cream in the morning, dead early. I mean, it's half six now. We sit and wait. I just ate having to wait round all the time. But it's part and part of the parcel, Pinky. Part and part of the parcel, Pinky. <laughs> no, part. I can't even say it now. Right, <laughs> yeah. all right, we just hang right, we just hang around. That's what we do all day. I mean the customer so inconvenient for him, isn't it? That we're taking the car off them, that they can't have it waiting for us. <laughs> exactly. But do you know why I'm waiting? At least you get to listen to some of my good jokes. Pinky, you don't do good jokes. <laughs> I do best jokes. You don't. I do. Go on in. I've got one for you. Are you ready? <laughs> What's pink and wrinkly and belongs to you? Granddad. What? <laughs> Your grandma! Your grandma! Why are you laughing already? I didn't even finish the joke! <laughs> it was the content of the joke I was laughing at. I was wondering what was going to come out of your mouth. <laughs> Just stop it. Just stop it. Hey, we might even get free ice cream today. What are you training? I can have a flake. I'll be all right as a one-off. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little bit busier now on here, isn't it? I know, he'll turn up soon, you know. It can't be any... It's got to be any sweating. Here he is, what is it? CX-70? CX-70, yeah. There he is. Yeah, that's him, that's him. Just wait for him to pull up. 
Is he going to park inside? What are we going to do? What are we going to... No, wait out? for him to go in. Wait right, for him to go in. Right. Wait for him to go in. He's getting out. Yeah. He's definitely going to the gates. All right, let's just wait here. We don't do anything until... Keys? What have you done? Oh, I'm in the No, what, what is he doing? He's opening the gates. Right. Don't even... He's only oblivious to her here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of upset him this morning, aren't we? Have a nice cool wake up call. Yeah. Yeah, he's going in. Hang on, he's going back to his car. What's he, what's he going out of the car? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is he going to park inside? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Right. Go, 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 go. Come on, let's get out. Hello? Colin Peters? Yeah? Yeah, mate, switch your engine off. Right, what's going on? Yeah, stay there. Come on, mate, switch your engine off. What's going on? There's a repossession warrant for your motor vehicle. Right, why? Because you haven't paid for it. I'm going to pay for it. You've got a brand new vehicle. Do you understand how far that's worked? You haven't made a single payment. Yeah, but I'm going to pay for it. It doesn't work like that. You haven't made a single payment. Yeah, but I've, I've had to pay for the two trucks. I've the got... finance company don't care, but you're paying for ice cream trucks. Yeah, but I've got money coming in. It's fine. I'm going to make payment. But you're three months behind. I know, but I've, I've got money coming in next week. I'll show you if you want. I've it got the paperwork. It doesn't matter if you show look, us. Look, look, look. I'll, I'll show you. What are you doing? Mate, I'm going to take your keys. No, no, look, look follow me. I'll show you the paperwork, look. You can show us all you want, but you've I've got, nothing's going to change. I've got the paperwork over here, look. Here I can on, make payment. Case. Right, where's my, where's the car key? I've got this. You can make the payments. You can have it back. I want that back. I can make payments. I'll show you. I've as got long as you make free payments, that's fine. But you can't just have a brand new car and not pay for it. You know what? I don't even like ice cream. I'm lactose intolerant. What are you doing the job for, then? It's a family business. I don't want to be in this business. Paperwork, look. Let me just yeah, open up. Yeah, you can up. have paperwork, but you've got to make payments. Let me just open up, I'll show paperwork you. Paperwork doesn't add up to payments, does it? Come here, I'll show you. So basically, paid his deposit, went into the showroom, drove out, and didn't pay anything since. He had a shiny new Range Rover. Yeah, but you know what? I wish I could have a new car and not pay for it. Well, that's why they sent us in so quick on this one. It was borderline fraud. Whereas, if you make one payment on the finance agreement, then you're just a defaulter. But if you don't make a single payment, then that's fraud. Right. And that's what this was. Proper borderline on this one. Did he miss a payment? Did he intend to defraud him? We just didn't want to pay. Some paperwork here. Look, I can show you. On payment? I'm sure it's something like that. There's a VAT bill here? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? 57 grand? Yeah, so? You haven't got any money, have you? What's that got to do with the car? You haven't got any money, have you? No. Well, your car's gonna go then. I'll sort something, please, come on. The ice cream trucks, everything, I'll, I'll sort it. I've just gotta get back on Why my feet. Why have you got a brand new car then if you can't afford it? Look, I didn't even wanna be in this business, right? i had to buy a new whippy machine. Why can't I have a new car then? Why don't you just drive one of your vans home or sell one of your vans? Why do you have to have a brand new car? No, why should I? Why should you? You're not paying for it. Well, I've had to buy all this stuff to get back on my feet. Yeah, you just told me you had payment. You haven't got the money. These blocks of gates, Carl. These idiots. Hey, who are you calling? An idiot. Oh, good luck. Steve, 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 you've got to help me out here, mate. You've got to help me out with these. You've got to be kidding. You've seen the size of him. Yeah, but come on, help me out, two of us, one what of them. What are you asking for help for? Look, you can't just come in here whenever you like. Come and take your car off me. You've changed your tune, haven't you? Just yeah, a minute ago, you thought... What are you having a paddy for? Paddy! Paddy! I'll show you, Paddy! Yeah! I'll show you, Paddy, mate!
told you not to buy the car. I'm with you guys. Get him all away! Well, that was eventful. I'll get a broom then. Colin! Colin! What? What's all that about? Look, I just want nice things, mate. Look, I don't want ice cream vans. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, everyone I'm sorry. Want, everyone I'm sorry. wants nice things. Yeah, but I never wanted to be in the business. Look, all right? I'm sorry, but... You, you just found pots at me, head. Yeah, OK, I've calmed down now. Calm down, honestly. What have you got in your motor vehicle? Look, I've just got, just got my tennis racket, and that's it. Well, get your stuff out of the vehicle. OK, all right. And we'll leave it at all that. Right. Yeah, OK, all right, yeah. He's a nice bloke now, he's calmed down. There's a key for his vehicle. Right. I mean, if you take that back to the yard, secure it. Yeah. I mean, we can do one more job today, still early. I mean, most people have a bit of a paddy anyway. I know, but there's a paddy and then there's a paddy. I know, that but you were bit. a bit much, but yeah. he's acting like a kid, but, you know. What was that? What are you doing? Do you know who I am? 1995, under 14, Wimbledon champion, mate. Oh, oh, am I supposed oh, to know who you oh, was? Hey? What's wrong with you? What are you doing? I didn't want all this. I didn't want ice cream trucks and ice cream business. I wanted nice things, nice cars. So does everyone else. We don't start fighting tennis balls with people. I do you? what I want. I yeah. was the Wimbledon champion, under 14, mate. You just look it up. Oh, my God. It's crazy. What's wrong with you? I'll show you what's wrong with you. I'm telling you, mate. Whoa, Come on. get behind that. Crazy man, he's crazy. What are you doing? One more? Yeah? And you're having it? Right. Yeah, right. What's he what's he doing? Oh, what's wrong with him? One minute he's quiet, next minute he's not. <sighs> It's crazy, this is crazy. Is he still firing? I don't know. What's he doing? Take a look. Oh, God. I think he's out of balls. What the? Oh, no, here we go again. Get here, you better get here now. Take that off you uh, and stay there, can't you? Uh, what are you saying now? Idiot. Every time. Sick of working with idiots, these people out there. Pinky, just get in the car, let's go. Pinky, has there ever been any repo we've been on where you haven't fought with a customer? Yeah, they were that place in Devon with that nice couple, remember, with Juicer. They were even going on, showing about how nice I am, how professional, offered to make me a cup of tea, give us all the equipment. It was that like, easy. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I also remember the guy which had just paid £4.50 for a cup of juice. You was walking out the shop with a juicing machine. Can you remember what he called you? Yeah, I remember. And can you remember what you did to him? Yeah, I rugby tackled him over the counter. Oh, that, that's all right then, was it? Yeah, but he wasn't our customer, Sean, was he? Give me strength. You all right, mate? Oh, I used to beat somebody. You know what the kids call me now? Two scoops. And you know why? Because I only give them two scoops. Yeah, you're fine, mate. Right, do you want to get a photo out, H? Today's job is the scrapyard. OK. So this customer has either took it to a scrapyard, sold it, or it's his mate, and they've tried to sell it out of a scrapyard. Someone's done a HPI check, found out where the car is. Finance company spoke to a scrapyard. He's just literally took the mick out of them. He's gone, nah, it's mine. I think it's about 3,750 quid or something like that he wants. 
Wait, they want storage charges? Yeah, they want £75 a day for 45 days. Wow. Yeah, finance company's not entertaining it. I said no. So they're going to send us in in a last stitched effort. Oh, it's going to be up with us this morning then, isn't it? Yeah, nice early call. There's no way you want to go in the scrapyard with full of blokes. No, 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 not at all. The repossession warrant is useless today because we're literally just snatching it out the yard. We're going on his property to get the car. He's saying that it's his. The police turn up, whoever's got the vehicle, it says. So literally, we're just going to go in, snatch it, and see if we can find it. Here it is. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of scrap, isn't it? Open. Mm. Do you reckon we can get in here without being safe? I don't know. Which one should we go into? That one. That one looks like it's where it stores all the trucks, isn't it? That's what I'm saying, yeah. So we go and check that one out, see if it's open. Yeah, all right. That is. It is. <laughs> it's open, wasn't it? It's open, it's open. Um, right. We can have a look now. Might as well, aren't we? We're not going to get a better time than this. No, it's as good as any. Right, so you open it fully, yeah. and I'll just park in the entrance, block it in. Right, cool. And we're going to take a look. Quiet, isn't it? Yeah, really quiet. All right, let's have a look around then. Start up here. H, can I have a look over there? All right. Now we're clear around here. How come there's no one here? I have no idea. Hmm. Hey, you pair! What are you doing in my yard? You pair! Keep looking. Stay there. Oh, there you go, H. Oh, lovely. Chip the reg. Hey, you pair. You pair. Oh, Lima Sierra 56, Yankee Zulu. That's the one. Yeah, we've got repossession order for that motor vehicle. I don't think so, mate. Yeah, we have. No, I brought that like, legit, mate. I brought that legit. The car belongs to a finance company. It belongs to me. It doesn't belong to you. You probably know the bloke. John. Oh, was well, Yes, he's name. Oh, so you know his name. So you know every single person what brings a car in here. Absolutely, mate. You knew his name just like that, didn't you? Right, right, man, I am, mate. Mate, this is a con. You've kept it here. You tried to sell it. You've been caught out, and that's it. Someone done a HPI check. You've been caught out. Mate, I'll tell you Game's now, up, mate. That car ain't going anywhere. If you want to pay the fee, yeah, 45 days, £75 a day, you do the maths, then it's all yours. I'm not going to do the maths, am I? That car's coming It looks like you can't do the maths, mate, to be honest. No offence, like, but... Get a cocky all you want, mate. That's all you've been given, the finance company, so... I'm just going to take your car. Mate, you ain't taking the car, mate. No, mate! You ain't taking the car. I'll have this yard full in about five minutes. So Better get it full, then, ain't you? At first, H, I thought it might be an innocent purchaser. Bought the car in good faith, found out it was on finance, tried to sell it. But the way that car was hidden, I'm pretty sure they're both in on it. Those storage charges, way overinflated. That's why the finance company called us. Finance companies always phone you first. You've got a bit of a knack for them. 48 hours, get the car back, any means are necessary. Do they know your methods? Why do you think they called me? <laughs> Get 
get your hands off the car, whoa, mate. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, I'm whoa, telling you. you. So you're a big lad, go you know what it's all about, don't you? Get your Three and a half grand, and you can have it. I've had this car in storage. Yeah, and we're about to take it off your hands, mate. Yeah, you can. Pay us the money, then. You put the money in my hand, mate. Or what? Oh, what? I've just oh, told what? you I'll fill this yard up in five Do you mean you have this yard four or five minutes? You're a big lad. Well, Take I'm just going to break yourself. into it then. Huh? Have to explain everything. Don't touch that car. <sighs> hey, honestly, Dude, get the fuck away from Be careful. Right. Hey! Oi! Whoa, easy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oi! Listen, you're not... Hey! Five minutes, man. I'll have this yard full. Well, I better hurry up then, aren't I? Hey, just keep around, we're gonna kick the steering lock off. Hey, it snapped! Come on, let's go! Alright then, lads, okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Get off the floor! God. Get off, get off the floor! Stop it! Okay, okay. So, how many people do you think you've thrown over in your career? What we're talking here, Rach? Judo or just takedowns? Mm, any. Including choking? Nah, mate, nah. A lot. <laughs> Taught by one of the best though, Andy Merchant, one of the original, and I mean original repo men, was started working for me. Way before you. Yeah, I've heard you talk about him. Living legend, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Wasn't the biggest guy, muscly, he used to take down massive blokes. And do you know what he used to say to them? Just before he took them down, he used to have a little whisper in their ear. What's that? We're all the same size on the floor. Boom! He used to take them down. <laughs> And when they're rolling around and like he's choking them out on the floor, he was right, they were the same size. Okay, enough's enough. enough. Sign the paper. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Sign the paper. Sign the paper. Sign the paper for what? The car. What to say we've took it? You can get a receipt. Yes, sir. That's fine. Okay, lads, look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get the log book, get you the keys. You just sign me a bit of paper to say you took the car and I'll take it up with the courts for the finance company. You can come with me if you want. Or you can stay there, you're too aggressive, mate. Why am I always classed as the aggressive one? So You've just been ragging him around up there. I'll do one throw on him. Now what you're laughing for. Can't I just oh. push this over there? Put it here, right? <sighs> right, you go and see what he wants. I'm going to give a finance company a ring, right. see if it's all right for me to sign that paperwork. Okay. Come on then, mate, let's get this sorted. You're in the yard, mate. Just over the other side, mate. Do you need me over? Yeah, black BMW, 56 plate, get in the crusher. Now, and I mean now. Oi! Mate, it's too late. You too late. So have a look out the window and you'll have a good view, yeah? Right, do it now, mate. And I mean now. On the way. 
You absolute top prize idiot. Who's idiot, mate? You're standing in there. Oh, so... it's all fun and games, yeah? Yeah, it is. Open yeah. the door! No? What are you going to do? Morning. Morning. Better All right, mate. It's only Sean. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, I've got some good news. Do you want to put the kettle on, mate, and enjoy the show? What should I get hold of you? Two sugars. Two sugars? Yeah, two oh, sugars. You more than two sugars. <laughs> you you put the kettle on and enjoy the show. It. Have a look out the window. Open the door! Have a look out the have window. Look at... Guess what I've got? No! The BMW. No! Yep. The black one? Yeah. One you've been after. Oh, mate, that's amazing. Yes! Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Can't believe it. That's amazing. Been after him for a very long time, haven't you? Oh, unbelievable amount of time. The machines are noisy, isn't they? Yeah, they're just opening up, mate. It turns out how it is. Yeah, it's a big yard. Lots of stuff there, is that? Yeah, the yard's massive. But one question I need to ask, is it all right if I just signed some paperwork just to say that yeah. we've took it away? Yeah, 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 absolutely. No! And what condition is it in? Is it all right? Yeah, mate. Car's mint. Yes. What was that? Did something just explode? Nah, it's just a truck going past, mate. Oh, come on, man! Open me this door! Yeah, yeah, right. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get the key, yeah? Yeah, you have a nice little... Put the kettle on, yeah? You want to put the kettle on? You started early. Early bird catches a worm and all that. <laughs> you guys are good. Told ya. Mate, I told ya. You watch when I get out of here. Oh, I ain't giving a beer when you get out of there, mate. No, I've got H with me. Nothing gets past him, mate. You just always seem to deliver you guys. Yeah, looks good us getting this one, doesn't it? Uh, hang on, Sean, hang on, hang on. That's... That's... Sean got that black BMW back. <laughs> oh, no! And you wanted to use that other firm? Oh, you think this is funny? Yeah, it is funny. You... Mate, what are you doing? Why is it going to the crusher? Because he's going to no, get no, crushed. No, 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 what are you doing? Mate, the crusher, yeah? The yeah. crusher, no, 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 don't be stupid. Oh, yeah. No, mate, not the crusher! Yeah, the crusher, mate. This, yeah? Watch me and you. Can't do nothing with this now. Oh dear. Good work, Ad. I suggest you shut your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, have a nice day, mate. Anyway, Sean, I've got to go. I'll tell you what I'll do. Send your invoice in, mate. I'll pay you straight away. Cheers, mate. Thank Take you. Care. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go on, mate. All right, mate. Get the keys. We're not going to need them. Oh, it's a battery flat? Yeah, something like that. What, Tiny's pumping up? Just a little. Why don't you come and have a look? Where's our car? Yeah. Hey, that's not our car. That is our car. You can tell by the wheels, it says BM. What's happened to it? Um. Who done it? Dude in the yellow jacket. Bro, can you let I just said have a nice day to him. The same dude. 
I told the finance company it was mint. <sighs> oh, man. Let's try and salvage this. Go and get a number. Go and get a number plate. Not that one. That's the front number plate. Go and get the back number I'll plate. See it over there. The one time I let you deal with a customer. I could say the same about you. The one time you're supposed to secure the car. I wasn't securing the car. I was on the phone to finance company. Yeah, and look what happened. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> Question now. Which is the front, or which is the back? That's the back, of course. All right. I'm going to go and get the chain. Okay. Still get paid for this, innit? Well, do I still get paid for this? <laughs> Just leave it at that. Oh come on! And they like when we do a report at the end, yeah. And we send pictures in, going, "I've got a little dent here." Yeah. 